Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Mohsen Khan and I'm working as a materials engineer with Parsons Overseas Limited. Today I want to discuss the topic uh, regarding construction material feasibility. So mostly you know we are checking the material feasibility the first time if there is any query or any borrow area and any aggregate we want to use in our project. So what we are going to do for this one we are passing this aggregate through feasibility process so feasibility is uh, basically if you will say this is the main thing and uh, normally we are doing the feasibility for concrete asphalt wet mix aggregate road base and such kind of stuff today our topic will be focused mainly on the aggregate feasibility for uh, concrete if you want to use any source any aggregate in the concrete mix design then how we are going to do the feasibility so today i will discuss about this one that how we are going to do the feasibility for aggregate as a concrete aggregate so there are basically three procedures through which we through which we are doing this feasibility uh, for the aggregates the first method is uh, potential alkali reactivity method and the second one is mechanical strength and the third one is physical parameters today we will discuss for potential alkali reactivity of aggregate that how we are proceeding if there is any reactive uh, minerals or anything so how we are going to calculate how we are going to determine this one so we will focus on this one this potential alkali aggregate reactivity so there are basically uh, for the three methods in this potential alkali aggregate reactivity the first one is the petrographic analysis analysis we are doing the petrographic analysis and the second one is the chemical analysis and the third one is the motor bar method with the petrographic analysis we are doing this one by using the standard astm c295 or bsen standard 12407 if we want to do chemical analysis then we are using the standard of STM C289 and C586 but further if we want to do further feasibility with the motor bar method then uh, we are using the standard of STM C227, STM C1260 and STM C1293 so these are the standard and if you are going for the alkali carbonate then we are using the stmc 1105 today further we will discuss about the petrographic analysis so in the petrographic analysis as i mentioned earlier we are going to use the standard either stmc 295 or bsen which is british european standard that is 12407 so at one time you have to use only one standard it may be uh, american standard or it may be british european standard so i have the report so i will present this one as well uh, that uh, we are doing this uh, uh, you know petrographic analysis on the basis of uh, american standard and british standard so the first thing about uh, the feasibility regarding this uh, petrographic analysis how we are doing this one in the petrographic analysis first time any geologist is required or his supervision they need to get uh, to the uh, required area they have to take the sample from there uh, there are two three types of query like the one is uh, undeveloped query the second is developed developed query and the third one like the stockpiles are already the pressure plant is there and you want to use this one you want to check the feasibility so in the first case if undeveloped query so we need the drill core we need to do the coring for that area for the full depth for the full width and we need to take sample the core dia must be uh, it should be minimum 54 uh, mm uh, if this is uh, like you know thick bedded or medium thick medium bed uh, stone rocks are there but if the geology is very complex and very thin beds are there then we have to go for 100 mm dia 
score once we are doing the scoring then we have to brought these things to the laboratory and there uh, there we have to do the microscopic analysis the microscopic analysis and we will do uh, we will prepare the thin sections and then we will do the petrographic analysis the sample size for the stock file it uh, should be 45 kg or minimum 300 pieces whichever is more we have to go for that one and sample size for non-producing query the query is there but non-producing then we have to get 1.8 kg sample from each bed at the end of petrographic analysis the petrographer he must clearly recommend whether this source or this aggregate is uh, feasible for concrete or asphalt or for any uh, purpose for which we submitted the sample so he must clearly mention that this one uh, is suitable or not the petrographer may clearly say yes or no or further if there is any deleterious material in siliceous material so he can say that go for further testing so in, inshallah in the next uh, part uh, we will discuss about the Mm, some other uh, issues